Okay, so I want to briefly discuss <coughs> how we fixed a problem with uh, Origin, where when Origin wouldn't load, we got this message, the application was unable to start correctly, with a code uh, hex C and a bunch of zeros 7B. And basically what that means is that there's some either missing or corrupt files that um, are preventing the origin from running. And what I did was basically uh, based on this um, Stack Overflow article, which was pretty good, um, I uh, downloaded this thing called uh, Dependency Checker, Dependency Walker, excuse me, Dependency Walker. And uh, basically, this Dependency Walker can tell you what an executable needs to run, what other files it needs and um, now basically it's not 100% perfect as I have read about it's not being 100% maintained anymore so right now uh, the program origin client service.exe which is the main origin program is in fact uh, working but um, before right now it's it's indicating these two DLLs here as missing but uh, there, that's not a problem. But what was a problem was all these API, MS, Win Core, Kernel, Private, and Core Private, and Service Private. These were missing. And uh, if you notice, these are x86. Um, these are x86 files. Um, they're 32-bit files. And uh, this operating system is Win. Dos 8.1, so it's a 64-bit uh, operating system, but um, uh, we need these x86 uh, files to go with the origin, because origin is a 32-bit program. And so, um, after hunting around for a while, uh, I got a link that I trusted, which is from Microsoft, uh, which I'll put in the description. Um, as well as the Stack Overflow article. And basically, um, I had to re-download the Visual C++ uh, x86 and uh, 64 uh, libraries that uh, this link will, will direct you to. And then, when I go to Origin and try to start it, uh, it starts. So uh, there's a lot of uh, links out there and YouTube videos where they're asking you to replace things or run a some kind of check disk or system scan, and that may be that may be uh, helpful in certain cases. But what worked for me was actually um, using the dependency checker to see what was actually missing. Here's our uh, dependency dependency walker. So you can, if you Google Dependency Walker, you'll be able to pull down this executable and just run it. And then what you do is you um, open the file uh, and you pick the executable. So you'll want to go to your origin folder and then just pick the executable that you want to use. You can use origin.exe or origin-client-service.exe, which is the main one. And, um, and then your... Um, then you're able to uh, go to if if uh, you see like let's say six or seven different missing things uh, try going to this Microsoft link and refreshing your uh, your visual C++ libraries and then it should start there's a lot of different links out there on the web and some of them are downloading files from who knows where and uh, we're just guessing so um, I would consider this first, I would trust the Microsoft website before downloading something from who knows where. Um, but the, the key is that this C0007B error, there's uh, multiple reasons why you could have it. So uh, it could be different for different programs and different situations uh, as to which file is missing, but basically means some other file is missing and uh, the key is to figure out what it is and then restore it and in the case of origin uh, for me and for some others on the web it was these visual c plus plus libraries which with the link i've included here you can upgrade hopefully that helps you get your origin up and running take care